And so people, we're back. Time to do the lake. Ooh, Fox or Diddy Kong? I'm going with Fox. So yeah, basically we have to fight Rayquaza. I think that's how you pronounce that. Don't know, I... <laughs> so if it doesn't sound like I know much about Pokemon, but I start like, taking interest of like, Series 2. Oops, wrong one. So yeah, this guy's pretty easy. Um, no, you shouldn't get any real challenge out of him. But he's almost dead right now. Just a few more hits. And there we go. Requires is defeated, and that's it for this boss fight. Yeah, we're playing as Fox again. Yeah, I prefer Fox to Diddy Kong. Yeah, so now Fox has been forced on this journey, he didn't even want to go on. <laughs> He's like, I've got my own stuff too, and Diddy Kong's like, no, no, bitch, you're coming in here and up with me. How oh, did I get out of here again? There you go, I know I found it eventually. <laughs> Just random kicking saves the day yet again. Might as well get this. Maximum tomato, don't need it. Ooh, smack bomb. Oh, 
Alright, so we need to go to the other side and get another door. Yeah! You know, the one that can be big. Yeah, it's probably best to ignore those things unless you absolutely have to fight them. Do not ask me what happened, I actually blew myself out the stage. Yeah, and I've got Diddy Kong. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I have any more problems with Diddy Kong, but mm, let's face it, Fox is better. Ooh, a red door and a gold door. I'm gonna take the red door. Stupid. Okay, I've shown you that there's a death trap there, so do not take that way. I think now we can use the red door. I might be wrong. If I am, I'm gonna suffer 15% more damage. Yep. Uh, only in Smash Bros can something like a peanut hurt you. Now I think we can go on this door. And actually, I don't think you can go on this door at all because every time I go on here, I just get myself hurt. So we're staying away from this door. I think that door is only there to hurt you. It's a horrible, horrible door. Ooh. Extra life. <sighs> do I dare go back in this door? Yeah, I do. Okay, so it's a horrible door, just make sure you hit the switch. Sorry about that. And this is, like I said, this is the time we have to actually kill this thing. How dare you hit me with peanuts? I'm allergic. <laughs> yeah, that's it, actually. I think that's why peanuts are happy earlier. Everyone's allergic to peanuts. Everyone's got a peanut allergy. It all makes sense now.
Yeah, Raiden Fang's gonna dodge that one. Yeah, come on, what's with all the mini mushrooms? Give me a mega one. Here we have to fight um, a challenge, Dark Bowser. And no, I'm not talking about the one from the Mario and Luigi game. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Don't stop me. Ah, oh, screw it. Oh, are yeah, we Bring it on. Bring it on. My bomb. But they're going to defensive us, and I think that damn smart bomb it moves around way too much. Come on, this is Bowser. He's not supposed to be a mover. Screw it. Who cares if I get hit by a smart pump? This thing's worse than working with smart pump. It's easy. About blooming time. Uh, nothing interesting. I said because I've, I'm pretty sure I've got all those already. Fox joined our team. No, back to map. We don't need to save yet. The Ruined Zoo. So basically we have to run away from this thing now. Wonderful. If anyone that doesn't know, Lucas is from the Earthbound games. And I go, Gain, you might know, even though 
To be honest, I'm gonna be very honest right now, I've never actually played the airborne games. Yeah, that seems funny, but I just haven't. Oh, I hate those things as well. Ooh, that was close, forgot you have to actually hit these things. Okay, so we're gonna play as Ness at this point because uh, he's the one that isn't a pussy. No offense, I'm sorry to Lucas, but let's face it, Ness is the hero one here. Lucas is merely being made to be the Luigi of the group. Speaking of Luigi, I kinda hate what they've did to him in this game, but now I'll explain that later when we get to it. Yeah, that would have worked a lot better if I didn't actually get caught in it myself. This be a big one. Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, Suckles and this guy were a perfect record as well. Ha ha ha! 
Yeah, we'll go with Pokemon Trainer. A little bit of trivia, Pokemon Trainer is actually uh, Red, as he's also known as in manga in some games, is actually the inspiration for Ash Ketchum from the anime series. You don't see every day a water type Pokemon using a fire attack. Do I hate these things again? So now we're being attacked by evil porky balls, which are called Bitons. Don't ask me. And as you may have noticed, I've got the annoying belly to clone themselves. I mean, you have to get these, kill these things quick. Now Pokemon Trainer, he comes with three Pokemon, a Squirtle, an Ivysaur and a Charizard, so you've got a Water, Grass, Fire, basically the starters in different evolutionary states. I have no idea why they chose to do it like that. Well, but you know, it's definitely done nicely. I love that old final smash, it, you know, it's got a good setup. Basically, it. I could just talk about how um, I used to be a Pokemon fan when I was younger. You know, I did all the stuff, get trading cards, and you know, join in on that office. Like I said, after series two, I basically lost interest in the thing. That and the anime as well. Video games, I 
think I tried a bit of series 3 actually, but I didn't really like uh, get too far before I just stopped playing it. 